Hello and welcome back to Railroads Online. So today we are breaking out another one of the trains off of the storage yard and let me get this situated. And then unfortunately we decided to pick the um, furthest locomotive kind of went through all these oh we should check the rail as we go but uh, the locomotive is as far away from the cars as it can be so make sure all of these are turned in so we don't have any derail that's the nice thing about this is you can just kind of run down these and as long as they're turned in you're not using it turned out you're using it so I guess that wasn't too too bad Alright, except this very last one. This is the only one, because that means we are using it. Huh. Okay, switched over. I think this is the one we are going to try to see if we can get Eureka out. Um, again, this train for its turnarounds and all of that is going to have to... Uh, go out through the turnaround so we are um, out through the sawmill we're gonna have to turn it around out there on a normal basis so try to not use a class 70 and I figure um, it'd be cool to see if the um, Eureka can actually pull the oil barrel cars and whatnot uh, I know it definitely could if everything was flat but everything is not flat so be interesting to see how um, I know Eureka is not great for hills so we'll just have to kind of see how it goes how this is going to go I'm not exactly sure of course I probably should have ripped out that other bridge already and I could maybe knock down the grade in there somehow in the process of doing that but I don't know. You can only handle so many things at a time. Wah! Messing everything up. Alright. Whoop. Bell, we're in the yard. Those should be open because we haven't been on the train. Should give the world a whistle. Tell it we are on the move. Try to get used to actually using things like we're supposed to. <clears throat> I figure this is a good time to see if uh, Eureka can strike it rich or not and we'll go see if we can get some of those oil barrels We've been hauling oil now so that uh, we at least got a full load of oil barrels out there to be picked up if uh, we can get a locomotive out there so you know what the heck figure Eureka goes with, you know, Eureka, we struck it rich. So if it can work, I figure that's a cool way to go. Personally, I've never tried it, so I don't know if, uh, I'm not worried about it bringing this stuff in. I don't know about it getting the cars out there. Granted, it's only four empty, so I don't think it'll have a problem. But I do also know it's like two and a half or three percent great or something, and Eureka don't like grades so I don't know we'll have to see it should make it I'm hoping it makes it because at least that would be a cool way to finish um, out the oil you know Eureka is a really good looking locomotive I still think this is the best overall looking locomotive in the game it uh, definitely not the strongest but I think it's the coolest looking locomotive in the game. And this one we actually do, have, yeah, we did put the flags up here. So this is actually how uh, the Eureka Palace, yeah, I think it's a Baldwin, uh, if I remember right. It's like a Baldwin 440 or something. But this one is um, still in existence out in um, Nevada. I know you can... Uh, you can YouTube search this thing and, and uh, see it on YouTube working. 
the uh, Glenbrook that's supposed to be, or was going to be, our, at least, our next locomotive. You can um, see it working with that one, too. I mentioned that on a different video. A really cool, uh, really cool video of them out there on YouTube, though. Worth a... Woo! Just hooked it in time. <laughs> That's cool. Alright. Somehow, or it just got bounced back off of that or something. Uh, I'm not sure what's going on. This brake should be... I thought we had a brake on something. No, oh, whatever. Maybe I already turned it off. I probably already turned it off. We're good. I don't know how it bounced off or whatever it bounced off of. They got it going back forward, but I'll take it. It's fine by me. I haven't put any gas to it. We're halfway down the... out of the deal, so I don't know what that was about, but... I guess was Eureka and Palisade just or Eureka is I think who we're going way too fast <laughs> is just a great looking locomotive getting distracted by other things so we're gonna try to put it to use I figure between this and the um, barrels this should actually be like a decent looking loadout the most circus looking train we're gonna have anyway so oh uh, I know what that was, the FedEx guy. Alright, so this part we do have to ease back out onto the track. Hopefully, see this one's going to come out of here with no problems. We sure didn't get the oil cars out of here with no problems, I'll tell you that. But there's one for Eureka. Getting it done with no problems. Nice. Uh, now we got to think ahead of the... Uh, where our track switches are out here. I suppose we've been running oil, so... The... Oop. Let's get with our program here. Turn that off. Should have gave a whistle when we got on to the main line there. And then we will just kind of let this one zoom. I don't think we have too much to worry about until we get out to the... Um, switch. Oh, that first switch we're going to have... Yeah, we're going to have to deal with the first switch, actually. So we don't have too, too long. Before we got to do something. Alright. Oh. Shut you down. Get over here. Well, look at how weaning that tree is. That was... I mean, it looks like it's getting straighter the closer we get, but that thing really looked like it was leaning over. I'd like to actually see a lot more of that. It's my understanding it's just the same tree. Uh, it's the same instance of the same tree over and over again, just spun and put in different ways. So uh, It'd be cool if they went, like, at least, you know, threw one or two different ones in there at some point. But I'm sure with all things considered, that one will be down the road. <laughs> At least, you know, maybe one day. Take a few more of these 
kicked out just because they're crowding the situation. And I don't like it. Okay. And then... Yeah, train's good. Should be good there. Should be good there. Put the saw away. Board a train with a saw. Alright. Get that going. We'll just kind of run up here. That's where we used to park this one with the tools on it, but I'd rather use it. Oh, snap. Right, this isn't going to work like I thought it was going to work. So we go by here. We come out to here. Yeah, drat, that's a bummer. We're going to have to bring it out to here, then we're just going to have to back it up there. It's going to be the way to go. Alright, where'd you go? Here she comes. Chugging along. See, now this would look so much cooler if it had that black smoke from the... From the, uh... Porter Type 2 from the Beta. That would just look so much cooler. But nevertheless, that is a good looking locomotive. Chugging on by. And I have always been a big fan of the car sound. You don't hear it a lot, because obviously, you know, you hear other things. But it, uh, I've always liked the uh, way that the rolling stock sounds as it's going. And I think the locomotives sound great, especially at, like, this speed. Which, maybe that's because, you know, when we hear them nowadays, that is how they run them. They run them weak and soft, you know what I mean? Where they're running it at 10%. They aren't cranking it up. Nobody sees these things running full tilt, really, anymore. Or at least, I've never seen them run in full tilt. I shouldn't say nobody does. I'm sure somewhere they, you know, somebody's still using the heck out of them. But I'm, you know, the repair and maintenance on these things has got to be an absolute nightmare, especially nowadays. Back in the day, it had to have been a pain. Now, it's got to just be insane because you know there aren't parts for these things anywhere. So everything's like a one-off re recreation out of a workshop or something. So I'm sure you don't see people banging on them now. Not like, you know... Not like we do. Well, this locomotive, I like the way it sounds. I like the way it looks. It's just unfortunate it's pretty wimpy. Alright. At least the good news is once we get it up to the top of the hill, we can turn it around one way or another. We'll be coming back the right direction. Crazy speed. I know some people hate it when you rip around it in like high speed like that. It just gets to be so habit forming when you're just playing the game that it gets kind of kind of hard not to. You just get such in the habit of like you know you mash the shift button right along with wherever you're going, whatever you're going there. the new rail so move Jack get out the way clear the railway where are you going now if there's going to be a question about if this doesn't work it would be right here and of course now we're forced to do it first which is not any good but it shouldn't have a problem I mean it's only four cars but then this grade is not you know we didn't do anything nice in here at all so here you get a good shot of the old track going over the new bridge 
I really don't think it looks too bad, you know. Even if they took, uh, you know, if they put in the new bridges without the track on it so we could just drop new track on it, that'd be cool. I mean, I don't think he even needs to push it as far as that's a whole split. It doesn't have to be. Just having different uh, bridge work to have would be nice rather than just having this stuff. Just that alone would be cool. We could put the guardrail on here and give us color options. And even that would be cool. Basically all it is anyway. A little different style of truss, I guess. Oh, uh, shoot. We did not get it done in time. Just keep going, I guess. We'll just bring it around the other direction. Should have got this flipping, but. Ah, well. Looking around the old run around here, and then there we can get to the loop. Barrels of goodness. We gotta knock these trees back too. Way too close. Train to be breaking those things. Yeah, you just can't keep going. Everything in here should be fine. Nice big gradual curves in here. This is such a spaghetti mess, but it worked out so nice like at the end. <clears throat> Never had any problems running anything around in here. So it's kind of nice. Even though it's way bigger and more obnoxious than it should be. Yeah, that's pretty cool. One you don't see very often. Bunch of trains out in the yard here. You can see we've been up here working oil and the steel pipe trying to get these ready to go then I noticed they were already full so I was like yep time to take a break get a money load in that should be good right there on both of them go figure that all right boom boom yeah we'll chance that Whoa! Uh, oh, I'm bad. <laughs> All right, let's get you down. Start rolling. Give you just a second and start rolling this. You get them too close to shutting them off, then you have a problem with one, and you dump bunches of barrels. All right, there we go. We'll hit start. 46 barrels but as we know these ones pay really good I don't know like 70 a piece or something like that 46 bear I don't know I know it's like 7,000 something for the load so that's what we know this is where the money gets good and the barrels look cool I wonder if the blue is like historically accurate to somebody specifically or if that is like what they did with oil shipping back in the day or if that's just something they picked. I don't know. I have no idea if that's like a historical reference I guess is my my wonder. Anybody knows? Comment down below. You know what I mean? share that out that'd be good information to know if that's actually you know something from history we can find and that's why they did it or if that was just a whim but we're in it for the money be real we need the money not really but we do <laughs> It's always good to get these big money trips in anyway, you know. That's the whole reason we we run all the rest of the stuff at the end of the day. Then after this, I don't know. I know I got some track stuff I want to fix on the other side. The um, Start cleaning up some stuff. Uh, 
should be it for you. Stop it. Shoot. I think we wasted one. Well, if we turn around slow enough, we won't know if we did or didn't. Although we will, because 57, 61. Oh, wait. That doesn't make any sense. Oh, I suppose because this one would have started taking barrels. Or making barrels right away, so the counts aren't going to be the same. Hey, get me out of the engine. That was actually kind of cool. There you go. If you want to see inside the framework of the Eureka, there it is. The little firebox. They really did just kind of put a face on it. Huh. Oh, there you go. Guess I've never. I've been through it obviously probably a thousand times before. I've never slowed down to actually look. Alright, let's get back on it. Everything appears nice and flat, and once we turn, everything then is downhill. So I don't think the weight will be a problem for Eureka. She backed up here, so this is going to be her new job. Eureka, there is oil. Oh, we went too far. Darn you. Not, why am I having such a hard time with us? Alright, back up. Hey, oh, it really helps when you turn the brake off when you want the train to move. So there you go. Friendly tip of the day. If you'd like the uh, velocity to increase on your train, turn the brake off. It uh, it helps. You know. Please drop in there. It's so close. Woo! <laughs> it's in there. It's all that matters. Rolling the blue. We go from the black to the blue to the to the green. That's what we need. Yeah, they should put us up to around 40k or something. That's pretty good. Working in the right direction. We need millions now that the Empire is finally in the black and no longer in the red. Those torches are so cool. Oh, taken out by an oil barrel. I don't know how well it picks up or translates to YouTube, but you can hear that. It's pretty crazy. Skateboard ramp. <laughs> it is pretty funny when you're running around with this guy on dev mode, like how you can turn around and jump off. Uh, you know, you go up to some of the mountains you couldn't climb before. You can now figure you can jump your way up them. And then uh, when you go jumping off of me and go shooting halfway across the uh, map, it's kind of fun. So there's that. <laughs> you know, we are going to bring the stock back down to just about zero. That's why I like hauling these in the four. I think it just it takes enough work to get it up to here. You could definitely run a bigger, longer locomotive and get paid more in one chunk. But it's just the workload in between, I think, is too much. Alright, Dundee. One, two... Ooh. That should do it. Done. Done, done, and done. So, how's the new local looking? Yeah, I like that. Well, 
looks pretty cool. Why not? Alright. I like using Eureka too. I gotta be honest. I probably use this. See how much we can use these and just do the whole thing with Eureka. Although some of those heavy loads would be a nightmare. You'd be doing like one train at a time. Or building some really long, low graded track. Which is cool. I'm not very patient for building long, low graded track, I'll say that. That's one thing I do not have a lot of on the, on the uh, railroad anywhere, is just long uh, track sections for uh, grade. Like I want to come over this mountain somewhere, but then I decided that, you know, how graded does that have to be to try to come over that? I don't know. I'm still going to try it coming up. Because I'd love to uh, punch away over this mountain to the uh, coal mine. And just be able to run coal right over and down there. I don't know how I'm going to do that yet. Uh, but that's going to be one of the upcoming projects. Uh-oh. We did it again. No whistle. No cylinder cocks. No bell coming around the thing. We gotta get working on that. Get us a good look at the at the bridge. I gotta decide whether I wanna take these. I'm leaning towards taking these trees out now. I used to always really like them. I'm leaning towards taking them out now. I don't know. I don't want to do it yet because once you do it, you're you know you're done. There's no bringing it back. Can we just free run down here? Things are getting wiggly. I just didn't even think about it. I probably should have saved this too. Though I still have to stick with, you know, I haven't had any crashes with the beta since, you know, since switching back. So, whatever, whatever. That is, it is working, you know, smooth now and everything's been pretty cool. So, I have to, I have to give that credit. I don't know how, what or why, but, alright. Right now, it is not very buggy, so that's pretty cool. Probably should blow that as you're approaching the switch, not like once you're on said switch. Gotta work on that, but, you know. Listen, definitely not an official locomotive engineer here or anything. We got a good look at the train. Digging it. Does kind of look like a circus train. So I'm cool with that. Yeah, I dig it. I always like this locomotive. I just tried to use it wrong at the start, you know? When you first, like, go to get it, you want to... You're starting to pull things uphill and stuff like that. And you go to use this for that. And it's not super good at it. So then you're like, you just kind of write it off to like, it's not a great locomotive, I think is the tendency. But um, it's really got, you know, decent power and stuff out on the flat ground. And it pulls 
trains just fine. I do the uh, a wood car or a wood load with this one that's you know 10 cars and I never have a problem with it. I just I'm not asking it to pull it uphill either. Oh we're gonna need a switch flipped on the way back. Of course we really don't need to flip. We need to come back on this rail is what we need to do. We need to do a redesign of the track play up there at the sawmill so we can get rid of that crossover. But I have not exactly come up with in my head how I'm going to get rid of that crossover just yet. Um, yeah. I have to get some sawmill layout ideas or something going because I have I got one idea in my head for a layout out there but I don't know if it'll work my guess is it won't because I want too many switches in it and then and those I remember were a pain out at the sawmill that's why I went with it the way that I did because there's hardly enough turn room out there That's why we went with the wraparound crossover deal. Oh, did we just run out of juice? Oh, we did. See, as soon as you fall below 50, 60 PSI, you can hear it. I didn't even see it. One thing a locomotive engineer's got to do, actually pay attention to stuff. Of course, now we'll throw a ton of wood in there we don't need because we'll probably come rolling up to the... We probably got enough juice to roll up to our drop off point anyway. We're gonna come in with a solar powered steam train. <laughs> if you know what I mean. It's not going anywhere fast. All new revolutionary gravity motor. Brakes. Oh, brakes. Put the wood back. Yeah, we got it stopped. Nice. So, we'll throw that up for people who wonder about the price. And then we will bring in the money. This is our Jerry Maguire moment. They show me the money. Rain and blue barrels. The best thing you can do in railroads online. Right there. I guess you could maybe get five at the dock. You could definitely on the other side. You can drop more freight at the other side than this side. But that's okay. This is a good money trip for us. It's good to be back on some productivity. Feel like we've gotten somewhere. Yeah, that's going to put us over 40. Maybe. Yep. <laughs> Just over 40K. So there you are. That one we're going to call a success. Probably uh, pick up some water and some wood while we're here. Yeah, wood we're doing okay. Water I think we're getting pretty low if I notice there too. A good trip back here. Let's see if we can get our head in the old. I don't know if this still works in here. You used to be able to just crouch down and see. I guess we got water. So we're doing okay. Looks like a half a tank and we got plenty of wood. So we'll just probably run it back out there and set her down for the next load. But uh, I think we'll call that one a success. And say thank you very much for tuning in. Y'all have a great day. Remember, if you can, like, share, subscribe. Subscriptions are free, but the sure do help the channel grow. Y'all have a great day.